Today in my AI series, I'm going to be looking at artbreeder.com using AI to create images and some amazing images, I have to say. Just to let you know, when you sign up, you can sign up with your Google account. There is prices involved, but there's a free tier. So you get unlimited images, three image uploads and five high res downloads. And there's 600 animation frames. But you can upgrade to the starter package, which gives you a lot more options, advanced and champion. Now let's see what this can actually do. If I have a look at the main page, these are some of the examples of what's actually being produced at the moment. Now if you're an artist or say a musician and you want to do some cover art, it looks pretty amazing if I do say so myself. So let's click on the plus and let's have a look at Splicer, which is the classic. You're presented with various options. So let's say you want to create something in the general area. You can do that if it's a particular portrait, landscape, buildings, albums, characters, paintings, furry portraits, anime, and much more. You can also upload images as well. And AI will do its best to kind of manipulate that image without keeping the same image. So let's click on general just to give you a general theme. Ooh, that's interesting, isn't it? So we've got various genes that we can add into here, such as a goldfish. Now it's not a proper goldfish, it's an AI goldfish. So all of these images have, be, have been understood by AI as an example. You can add a parent as well by using other people's images, custom genes with the goldfish. Let's give it a bit more goldfish or a bit less goldfish. And so you're basically creating a brand new image that hasn't ever been created before. Going back to the plus again, going back to Splicer, we can have a look at portraits. So this is one that's just been generated by AI and this person and this person. These people don't exist. What you're able to do, you're able to expand on their facial hair. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? Let's give them some blue eyes. Can you see how the whole image actually changes to a different kind of person? But look how much you can actually change with this. Now, if you want it to be exactly like you, it's not going to happen on Art Breeder, in my opinion. And just to emphasize on that, if I go back to Splice and actually go to Upload, go to Portraits, the image that I've queued is, is still there, but this is one that I did earlier. Now that's the image as it stands, and that's for anybody to manipulate in AI. But you can see that that doesn't look quite right. So if I went to Upload, if I show you what the actual image looked like first of all, in fact, I don't know if I can, if I've still got it. No, I haven't, oh well. But you can see, here's another image that I did via myself. You can do landscapes as well. And you can put in genes, add parent. So let's do a parent just to give it a bit of an idea, give it a bit of a guide. There we go, and then we can start to manipulate that. So we can add a lot of sharpness to that image. We can add a lot more green to that image. Maybe get rid of the saturation. You know, it's just incredible what this can do. Let's, let's create more mountains. There we go. Let's have some sunlight on there. And you see it's completely changing. And that's what it's called Art Breeder. It's about breeding the art that currently exists with the help of AI. It's phenomenal, isn't it? Going back to the plus again, let's now have a look at buildings. Similar kind of thing. You can give it a parent. I like futuristic buildings such as this, but let's give it a lot more brightness because that's, oh, that's too much. Let's give it some more brightness, but then let's say that it's actually the night time. Ooh, that's very neon isn't it? So you can just kind of manipulate stuff as you want to. And um, once you've done that, you've got your image. See what else we've got. Paintings, characters, albums. Let's have a look at albums. When it comes to text, AI really does struggle. You can see that that was previously an AI, uh, sorry, text that's been manipulated. Let's try not to blur it. Oh, that is blurring it, but the other way. So let's put that back to how it was. Let's put more red in there. Ooh, it looks interesting. Now, some people would tell that that's AI, but others may not do. Let's look at creating a video. So let's have a look at a general image. Now here's some that I've done earlier. Let's have a look at this one. 
and let's play that. It's basically merging images together. That's really what it does, which is what animation is. But if we have a look at some that I did previously, some go quite crazy, like this one. Now, if you got those four images, okay, and you got various effects down the bottom, but if I click on generate, it's now going to process that image. So you can see you can have a lot of fun here. If I have a look at my profile now, you can actually add things that you've created before. I did quite a lot of anime, which is really cool. A lot of people manipulating buildings. All of it quite interesting. And the notifications tells you if you, you've had images liked or not. For example, if you decide to share them. Browsing is looking at other people's AI, seeing how they're getting on with their images. Some really cool art going on here. And then it's just a case of clicking on one that you like. And then you can remix it. And they've got this collage thing, which is the making with the shapes and images and making it a bit more advanced, giving it some text. Yeah, and doing various things with it, which I'm not going to go into now. Let's see if I can find a bit more of the stuff that I've done previously. Let's have a look at this background here. You can download it, you can add hashtags to it, you can share it, you can like it, you can pin it, you can lock it, you can delete it. So I just think it's a fantastic website and I just think you can do so much with it. I will say it is limited in certain areas. It doesn't want to use copyright infringement. So it's very careful about what it actually releases. So that image that I've uploaded that's currently in the queue, it doesn't want to keep it exactly the same. It's going to change it via AI so that there's no risk of copyright infringement. And that's a big issue that we have with AI at the moment. And uh, yeah, so what it'll do is it'll actually change that image to suit itself, similar to these, make it probably a bit more blurred, maybe create a bit more regenerative elements like this. You can tell that's not my eyes and my smile, but that is actually from my image before. And that's what it's going to do here. So there you go. So I hope you like this video. I will be including a lot more tools regarding AI on how that might help you. So if you are interested in this channel, then you can check out my AI playlist or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll speak to you on the next one. Take care. Bye.